Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode for the Coaching Conversations podcast. Now, we are on Stitcher, we are on iTunes, and multiple different channels. Please check us out. Now, one of the things that you'll get out of our podcast episodes is a lot of content, a lot of strategy. It's not fluff, it's not concept. Yet we really want you to engage with the content and let us know your feedback. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. If there's topics you'd love to have us address, we would love to share them with you. Let us know your impact and let us know your feedback. Recently, I've been observing a lot of conversations online on LinkedIn and thought leaders sharing, you know, about pay and, you know, what people should be paid and how do we have these conversations with our employees. And it really got me thinking about two concepts. Number one, deserving. When somebody comes to us, there's a question we need to ask ourselves as leaders. Are they deserving? Number two, do they think they deserve more money? Money is a very emotional thing. Tactically, if we say, well, you're not in our pay range. You you need to get promoted. You're at the top of your pay scale. I'm not saying that's wrong. What I'm saying is that policy-driven response to someone who's emotional about money can be a trigger to leave the company, get upset, what have you. So we have to understand, number one, at level one, the concept of deserving. Do they feel like they deserve it? If they do, be prepared as a leader. Do you feel like they're deserving? Be prepared as a leader. So the number one thing we do when we get that question, if you want to have a really good career coaching conversation, is to literally say, that's awesome. You want more money. Embrace it. Don't fight it. Now, in the moment, they're going to think, oh, good, more money's coming. Then you ask, specifically walk me through your thought process of what got you here today. What represented not just your wanting more money, but the experiences, the work you've produced that got you here, that told you, you know what, I'm going to go ask about more money and just stop. It's amazing to me how many people are not well thought out. Now, if they're not well thought out, you might say, well, you know what, Janet, let's do this. Let's get back together. I want to continue this conversation. I want you to come in with some specifics of what you've done, the work you've done, and and the conversations you've had Uh, with me and your coworkers and what's really gotten you to this level to talk about more money. And then let's really have an open, candid conversation. Now, that's level one of the conversation. The output really depends on their reaction. Number two, the second concept is willingness. See, I often think people ask for, for more money based on personal needs. Recently, somebody said to me, I've got to go to my boss because my car payment's higher. And I said, I have to stop you. The person goes, what do you mean? I go, your boss has nothing, nothing to do with your car payments. Yeah, well, I just don't feel like I'm being paid enough. And I said, so I went back to deserving. I said, well, walk me through what you've done specifically the last 12 months that's really elevated your game to the point where, you know what? This is the right time to ask for more money. The person could not answer that question. Now, again, as this sounds a little bit jaded, I'm not against people asking for more money. Yet we tend to show up because the emotions drove us to get there. We have to get them to see the reality because money is very personal. Now, let's go back to willingness. One of the questions I love to ask people when they want more money is to say, well, first of all, let's talk about, you know, deserving. Give me some specifics. And then number two, If you were to get more money, what would that look like afterwards? They're not ready for that question. See, what happens, and no one will talk about this, when a leader or an owner, like a business owner like myself, gives more money, you know what I'm looking for? Are they going to elevate themselves? Are they going to show appreciation? Not just and say thank you. I'm talking about I'm going to represent the decision behind that pay. I'm going to represent my boss who went to bat for me by elevating my game, or do they get complacent? So the question again is, let's assume for a second we give you a raise. What will that look like afterwards? Now, some people will say, well, I'll work harder. I'll come in more. 
And then the question might be, well, that's awesome. Well, let me, let me think about this. Do you mind if I ask you kind of an off-the-wall question? And let's assume they weren't doing that before the pay raise. What were your thoughts on coming here today knowing you hadn't done that up to this point? It goes back to the deserving. Now, some of you might be saying, well, wait a minute, this isn't logical, you know, but conversations around money never go in a straight line. They're not logical. So level one, do they feel like they're deserving? Do you feel like they're deserving? Ask them for specifics. Stay away from the word why. Well, why do you feel like you deserve money? We'll put them in a defensive posture. The question is, what were your thoughts? What are some of the specifics that really made you confident to come, you know, for more money in terms of your work product, your work output? The second level is willingness. What is that going to look like? Assuming you get more money, we give you a raise. What will that look like afterwards? And then you'll see if they're well thought out, but you've planted a seed of responsibility. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. And recently, we just created a new service called Coach to You, where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign seven to 21 day programs for employees to learn and more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called Coach to You. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.